Hey guys, what's up? This is Tyler from Division One Trading. We're going over a quick trade review from February 22nd. And so this is the overall look on the day. We had a nice consolidation from Asia, right? Bounced around a little bit. Then London gave that low, ran right under this low, and then ran higher. So post London, we ran up again and then sealed the high there on New York. So one thing I want to talk about, and notice that double bottom right there. Today we're going to be talking about the Mayday trade. And the Mayday trade, the point is really when you're trying to capture momentum, right? It looks like usually you'll see a push, right? So if, example, this would be bearish. Then you'll see one single candle, could be one or maybe two, Usually if you just get one single candle, that's how you know it's going to be profitable. If it gives you a couple more, it generally tends not to play out. So you get that one candle and then, so it's pushing down, but pulls up by one candle and then pulls down again. And so these trades are usually pretty small. They're scalps, right? We're looking for a quick one-to-one -one trying to take advantage of momentum and volatility. And so in this trade, let's just look at structure, right? We have Asia high. And you can see once it broke Asia's high, right? It came back to retest it and then trade higher. Now we're looking here at London's high. So that's going to be a target, obviously, because we ended up getting short here in the New York session. So let's talk about that. Trades higher, one push, two pushes, three pushes, right? First high of the day, second high of the day, third high of the day, and then a stop on leg. So now let's talk about that one minute entry. So as we traded up, New York session began. We traded up to that new high of the day, which ended up being a stop hunt, and then traded down below this structure. I know it's a small break, but still, all right, created that. Then as price started trading down, see it breaks structure here, boom, it leaves, and then it left this one single candle right there, right? And we know that we're looking for London's high as support. So we enter this trade, right? We could put our stop right here above structure and our entry needs to be right around 50% or higher of that Mayday candle. These happen fast, right? It's probably a one to five minute trade duration. You can see right here, we got that one Mayday candle. One, two minutes later, we're already at two to one. Three minutes later, we're at three to one. Four or five minutes later, we go to four to one. So that's our Mayday trade, right? And it's called a Mayday trade because it's really like a last second, hey, hop on, it's going now, right? And that's how you want to catch them. So this is a really good bond open play a lot of times because you need that fast momentum. You need a lot of movement. But that's the Mayday trade there. Trades down one, two, three, four to one. And then at that point, really is at three to one, you'd want to exit here because that's when you're trading down into your structure. Mayday trades, I wouldn't leave a, a partial unless you're in a market that you know has a high probability to continue. And we'll also be, this will be in the next video, but we'll also be talking about how you could take advantage of that long there. All right, guys, that's the Mayday trade. I'm just recorded as it runs into the TP, I guess. I always forget to talk about it. So we took um, this Mayday trade. We talked about structure here. We got short here, but ended up, or we got short in here, but ended up closing because at the time, waited for 8.30, traded down, and then gave us our Mayday trade, right? Created that double bottom, one little push, and then sunk. And again, so we're only on a 0.01, so we're really just trying to 
We wished uh, 33, that was the original stop, was here. Right there at the top of that wick. So this is a quick four or five to one return. We'll take 130 if it could get to that four to one. I'll take that on the scalp. Bang. Almost here I hit it with spread. Oh, here it is. So there was our mayday trade, quick scalp. And then obviously if you're short, continue to hold short if you'd like. But that is where I'm gonna be exiting my point. Still gonna hold some of the position, but as far as if you have a 0.01, I would say at least show your stop, don't give anything else away. Hey guys, thanks so much for checking this video out. Let me know if you have any questions on the Mayday trade or if you can find any in your own charts. Be sure to be careful with them and make sure that you're not just taking any Mayday trade and you're lining up the correct direction and time. All right, guys. Thanks. Have a good one.